Hello YouTube, Bandit here from Priority One Surplus, and today I'm bringing you a review on the Navy Working Uniform Type 3 Woodland, also known as AOR2 and AOR1 in the desert, but this is not desert, this is the woodland. Um, there's four, four different colors inside the pattern, black, green, light green, and then white, or tan. Um, it was developed in 2009, and the official release was December of 2009 by the United States Navy. Um, it was designed for the special warfare operators and sailors who support them during their deployment and training exercises. So, like SEALs and other other units like that. But majority of the fatigues that you will find are brand new, because it's not not used a whole lot. So, nine out of ten chances this has not been used by a SEAL. Um, it only comes in a blouse and a pants. As far as I know, there's no field coat or Gore-Tex version of this. Um, this is ripstop, the specific blouse, which is nice. And the fabric is 50 nylon, 50 cotton, which is a good blend. It keeps you dry, but uh, also lets the let the moisture out of your out of your fatigues. Um, it costs about $85 because it is so rare. Not rare, it's just very uncommon. I mean, the stuff that you do see is usually more expensive. This can be found at the surplus store, but like I said, they are very uncommon. This is made in the USA as well. Um, one thing that's nice about this is it's very similar to uh, ACU cut, but not exactly. There's this here, which I'm not quite sure what that is. That comes up. Um, the pockets are not slanted like ACU cut, but one thing that is nice is they're not just Velcro, they're also buttoned. So, you know, if you want the Velcro, that's nice, but like, if you're in a tactical situation, there's nothing worse than hearing and just giving your position away or making sound that's not needed. So that's why they have the buttons, and then in all the pockets, including the shoulder pockets and each chest pocket, there is this flab of fabric with velcro inside the pocket so you can put over that and then it's just solely buttoned and you don't have to worry about anything um on the shoulders there is velcro um but only on the top half there's none on the actual pocket itself just the flap um standard five buttons on the bdus inside it's like a like a dull dull gray not reversible um it does have the united states navy base logo in it yeah. Very good camouflage. If you want to see the testing of it, go back to the main channel and you can see the camo testing of all different kinds of camouflage that's found within the store. And prior to that, which we had on hand before the store actually opened. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to voice them and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Band-Aid signing off from Priority One Surplus.